Hello guys and welcome to a new video. Please subscribe and support this channel. In this video I want to install macOS Segoia on this 15 inch mid 15 MacBook. I want to bring a, a new life in this old uh, hardware because I think uh, this is a very good top uh, even uh, today. Can be used for uh, watching videos uh, or doing uh, office tasks. First, we must uh, download OpenCore Legacy Patcher that can be downloaded from uh, Dortania site. I will click on this and I will click Get Started. After that, I will uh, go to Download and Build macOS Installer. And I select OpenCore Legacy Patcher Release Apps. I go to the bottom of the page and I will download OpenCore Patcher UI App Zip. I already downloaded it and uh, let's start to make uh, macOS Segoia USB installer. I don't have macOS Segoia. So, I will download it from OpenCore Legacy Patcher. I will click Open. I will insert my password. As I said, uh, you must have a 32 GB stick because 16 it will be not enough. I will select Create macOS Installer and I will select Download macOS Installer. Be patient uh, because it will take some time. Now it was selected macOS Sequoia and I will press uh, download and uh, just be patient because as you see it's a very big file. It's almost done. It took about 25 minutes but depends on your internet speed and uh, at this time I must uh, create a macOS uh, Sequoia installer for this uh, specific MacBook. We need to wait uh, till the validating macOS installer do this job and then we can create a macOS Sequoia installer on the USB stick. And I will click create macOS installer. I will select macOS installer by download. I will select my USB flash drive. I will click yes because I want to create a new installer. And at this point we must just wait. The installer uh, is doing its job. It will take some time till the USB stick installer will be ready. Be very patient. I think this will take about uh, an hour. Now it's almost half an hour and as you see it's not done yet. The whole process is almost done and we can proceed to finish uh, the USB installer. And then we can uh, install macOS Segoia on this MacBook. We are successfully created the macOS installer and we'll click yes. I will build and install OpenCore Legacy Patcher specifically for this MacBook on my USB installer. I will select install to disk and I will select my USB disk. Be very careful because uh, the system will show you even the hard drive. Be very careful and select USB flash drive and I will select EFI drive and I will wait. At 
this point I want to reboot and at the reboot I will press uh, Alt key to enter in the uh, boot sequence and uh, from there uh, to select uh, to install macOS Sequoia on my USB installer. At the restart I will uh, hold the uh, Alt key and I will select EFI boot. Then I will select install macOS Sequoia. Now I will select disk utility because I want to make a fresh install. I will select all drives. I will select my internal disk and I will click erase. I will click erase. So at, the, at this point I will go back and I will select install macOS Sequoia and click continue. I will click continue. I will click agree. I will select my internal hard drive and I will click continue. And then continue. And the process has begun. So the install is uh, done. We have macOS Sequoia on uh, this uh, 2015 uh, MacBook Pro 15 inch. We have uh, to make uh, some steps before the install is done. And I will click Open Core Legacy Patcher. And I will build and uh, install to my uh, hard drive uh, Open Core configuration. I will install to disk. I will select my internal hard drive. This time I will select EFI drive and I will wait. I will not reboot, I will click ignore because I will select return to my menu and I will select settings. From this I will uh, uncheck show open core boot picker because I want that my MacBook starts normally. I will uncheck this and I will click return. Now I will build and install open core legacy patcher again. I will install it to disk and I will select my internal hard drive and I will select EFI drive. At this point I can uh, press reboot button because uh, at this time my MacBook will start normally without uh, showing me the boot picker at the start. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that you will uh, subscribe to this channel.